To enter Stoneham Zoo, adult visitors must pay $16, whereas children and seniors pay only half price. So half price would be $8 per ticket. On one day, the zoo collected a total of $3,600. If the zoo had 335 visitors that day, how many full price and how many half price admissions did the Stoneham Zoo collect? Okay, so we're going to start this word problem the way we start all word problems and identify exactly what it is we're looking for and assign them symbols or variables. So we go to the last sentence. And in this case, if the zoo had 335 visitors that day, how many, so there's the question, how many full price and how many half price admissions did the zoo collect? So we don't know how many people paid full price and we don't know how many people paid half price. So let's give those symbols. We could use the symbols X and Y, which is what we normally do. You could use A for adults and C for children if you want. Either way, um, I, I just like keeping it consistent and using X and Y. So let's say X is the number of full price. Number of full price tickets. And let Y represent the unknown number of half price tickets. Okay, so remember, that's where we always want to start is to, if, if we're going to use algebra and we're going to use variables, we have to start off by saying these are the variables and this is what they stand for. X stands for number of full price tickets. Y stands for number of half price tickets. Okay, so now going back to the problem, what do we know? Well, we know that the each individual full price ticket is $16 and each individual half price ticket is $8. But we also know that the zoo collected a total of $3,600. So we know something about the total amount of money and the zoo had 335 visitors. So we know something about the total number of tickets that were sold. So it looks like the zoo sold 335 tickets, some full price, some half price, but we know there's a total of 335. And we know that the total amount of money collected was 3,600. So we can make one equation for the number of tickets. And one equation for the total amount of money collected. So we know that the total amount of tickets is equal to 335 and the total amount of money collected is equal to 3,600. Okay, so of those 335 tickets, some of them were full price and some were half price. So if we take the number of full price tickets plus the number of half price tickets, we should get 335 total tickets. And now in as far as the money that was collected, well, those full price tickets, each one ticket was worth $16. And those that $16 was collected in X number of times. So the money from those full price tickets would be 16 times X, $16 times the number of tickets. And then the, the half price tickets, which are $8 a piece, the total money collected from those would be $8 times the number of tickets. So eight times Y. All right, so there is our system of equations. And now we could solve this using either substitution or elimination. I'm going to use uh, elimination because that's my preferred method. So at this point, this is basically phase one of the word problem, the initial setup. And now it's no longer a word problem because we've converted those words to equations. So now we just have a system of equations to solve. X plus Y equals 335, 16X 
plus 8y equals 3,600. Okay, so using elimination, what we could do is take that first equation and multiply by negative 8. Multiply both sides by negative 8. That will give us a negative 8y. And I'm doing that because we have a positive 8y in the other equation. We could also have used the negative 16. That would have been uh, perfectly fine as well. But we have to just either make this x into a negative 16x or make this y into a negative 8y. Okay. So that first equation, so let me get, see if we get a little bit more room here. times negative 8. Okay, so this system of equations, once we multiply both sides by negative 8, becomes negative 8x minus 8y is equal to, well, 335 times a negative 8. If you plug that into the calculator, you will get 2,680. And since it's a negative, so we'll have negative 2,000 680. Second equation stays what it was. So 16x plus 8y is equal to 3600. And the reason we did this using the times negative 8 is because now when we do this, when we add the two equations together, the negative 8x plus 16x will give us 8x. And a negative 8y plus positive 8y, that gives you 0. So they cancel out. And again, we could go to the calculator for this. A negative 2680 plus 3600. Well, that should give us... 920. And then we could solve for x by, so we've eliminated the variable y, hence the name elimination method, and now we could solve for x. We can divide both sides by 8. And so we get x is equal to, well, 920 divided by 8, according to a calculator should be 115. Okay, so we now know that the number of full price tickets is 115. And we know the total number of tickets is 335. So x plus y equals 335. Or if you take the 335, minus the 115 tickets that we know are full price. So that gives us the remaining 220 tickets. So that means y, oops, let's go up here. Y is equal to 220. So we went from here over to here and y is equal to 220, so that means there are 220 half price tickets. All right, so keep in mind, while each word problem is somewhat different, we approach them, there we go, we approach them the same way. We start off always, we start off here. If we're going to use algebra, we have to define the variables that we're going to be using. All right, that does it for this problem. I hope this was helpful.